So let me ask you a question, and this is something that we were talking about on the show the other day, which is what is, what is your purpose? Um, more important question, maybe easier question to answer is if you could do anything in the world, there were no constraints on your time, on your geography. So, you know, you don't, you want to put any limitations on it. So if you want to wake up in the morning and go skiing in the mountains and in the afternoon you want to be on the beach, let's just assume that that was possible. Let's assume that you lived uh, here in California where you can actually do that. Or let's assume that you had the financial resources to hop on a plane in the, in the afternoon and by evening be having a bonfire on the beach, right? Let's assume that there are no restrictions on you. Let's say that you could do anything in the world that you wanted to do. You could wake up anytime you wanted to. You could work for as many hours a day as you wanted to. You could accomplish or, or pursue any venture that you, would, that you could possibly want. Anything. The whole world is open. What would you do? See, when we're kids, it's beautiful being around kids because you see this and, and you hear it from them. There is this expectation that they're going to have this, I don't know, this grandiose life. They're going to be superheroes or astronauts or firefighters or, you know, something epic because that's what they're, that's what they're faced with every day and they haven't built up, the world hasn't beat them down to the point where they have decided to settle in their life. And the truth is we, we lose that over time. Eventually we have some failures. Somebody else tells us, oh, we fail. I failed at that. And so that's really hard. And maybe you don't do that. We have people start to tell us, our parents, our friends, you need to stop being so idealistic. When I say to you, you can do anything you want. There are no restrictions. You can be one place at one time and, and the next minute be in another place. And you can do literally anything you want to do. Don't worry about the money. The, just assume that you're going to get fabulously wealthy doing whatever it is that you really love doing. What would you do? Initially, the response that most people give you is, well, yeah, but I mean, that's not, that's not really realistic. That's not really possible. So I'm going to subdue my true want, my true desire, my true passion, my true purpose for something less, for something more attainable, for something more realistic. And then we end up giving up eventually and settling for in our lives for some level of mediocrity. Most people are not deliberate with their lives. They're not. They spend their, they spend their time reacting to life. They spend their time waiting for things to happen to them and then trying to adjust. And then they wonder why they wake up one day and the life that they built isn't really the life that they want. Why do you think that is? Could it be because from the beginning you weren't deliberate about what you wanted? What are the beliefs about you, about yourself, about your abilities and skills are woefully out of alignment with your true potential? I would imagine all of them. You see, at the end of the day, we are our own greatest enemy. We do more to damage our future, to damage our potential, to, uh, to limit ourselves from achieving what is truly possible in our lives than anybody else. Whoever you're pointing to in your life, whoever you've been talking to, whoever you've been, uh, whoever you've been blaming for your failures, for your inability to hit the mark, if you're looking around at your neighbors and your friends or people on television or in media or online who are living a life that you want to live and you're finding someone else other than you to blame, let me tell you something, folks, that that is your biggest problem. You have no vision of what you want to create for your life. You don't know what it should look like. You've never thought about it. No one can keep you. Not in America, maybe, maybe, in, maybe in Venezuela. They can keep you from having everything that you want. Not here, not in America. People can make it hard for you. They do every day. The tax man does every day. He makes it hard for me. But nobody can stop you. You're unstoppable. You just have to believe it. Do you believe it? Say yes. Give me some feedback. I was watching a... Uh, 
I was watching a clip, old clip of the uh, of the Chiefs. Ha! <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Uh, of the Chiefs and Marty, old Marty Schottenheimer had all the defensive players in a huddle, and he's talking to them. And I can't remember the whole speech, but I remember it towards the very end. He's just screaming at him. He's like, "Refuse to be blocked." Refuse to be blocked. Refuse to be blocked. And I, I, I thought, what a powerful statement. Just refuse. I will not allow it. Right? <laughs> I will be unstoppable. I will be relentless. I will be unapologetic. I will be unreasonable. This world needs a few more unreasonable people. They need a few more people like you who are willing to say to themselves, your life may be okay for you. You may have stopped, but I'm unstoppable.